Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Joshua Demore over here from AMS Performance. I've got Tom Takazi's Nissan GTR here. Small build, but a big build all the same. We did Omega 9 turbos to it, trans upgrade. Tom and I, our relationship goes back the better half of about six months here. He was kind enough to bring his car all the way up from Texas uh, to make the conversion happen. So we're gonna take a little bit of deep dive, see what the car has, see what it's making power wise, and what you folks can do at home uh, to replicate the build. We'd love to have you here. So first thing we've got here um, is gonna be our coolant expansion tank. A um, little bit of a, a minor upgrade here from AMS Performance. Uh, but the one thing that I, I do like is it gets rid of that smoker's yellow factory coolant tank. Obviously it's gonna have an increased uh, flow or increased capacity for the coolant in the GTR itself, which again, it's gonna help cool the VR38. That's what we want at the end of the day, regardless of the power level that you're trying to make. So it doesn't matter if you have a small build in terms of power like what Tom has here, um, or if you're gonna be pushing for, you know, let's say north of a thousand. Nobody is uh, without realms of having an expansion tank. Uh, we also converted Tom's car over to speed density. Um, so we've got some tile blow off valves here. It's gonna have our upper uh, charge pipe kit as well. Uh, you can't see them, but down below is obviously gonna be our Omega 9 turbo kit. So it's stock location, um, like stock turbos, I should say, but it's also gonna have our intake system here, carbon intake system uh, with, with uh, filters as well. Got the car up in the air. Uh, a few other modifications we've done to the car itself. So Tom wanted to elect to do a stage two Shep Trans. So obviously we got the thing out to Shep Trans there in Ohio. They got it, got the trans back to us. Um, so that has been taken care of. We've also got our AMS titanium exhaust um, as well, which love the look of the titanium exhaust. The other cool thing that I like to note about the exhaust system itself is you don't have to piece together other components. Um, you're gonna have not only the exhaust itself, you're gonna have the mid pipe uh, and the wide pipe as well. So you don't have to worry about purchasing um, individual components. You're gonna get a high quality exhaust system for your GTR with everything necessary to make it happen. So uh, Tom's car also, uh, we did the alpha down pipes to the car as well. Um, and a single brushless fuel pump system here, as opposed to the dual brushless system. So uh, whenever the car uh, comes back, if Tom is kind enough to send the car back to us um, for some more power and some more upgrades that him and I have had a conversation about, um, we'll convert the car over to dual brushless system at that point. But for now, um, this is probably by far the best looking Omega 9 build that I have had um, come through the shop that we've had the privilege to work on. 
Um, from the bottom of our heart, obviously, we appreciate Tom uh, giving us the car, having the opportunity to not only build his trust with us here at AMS, um, but the entire team. This goes back to also uh, Alex, who worked on the car, and then, of course, Jake and Miles, uh, our tuning gurus here, and Mad Hatter's in-house, um, who are giving this thing the AMS sauce here through Accutech. So, um, again, we thank, we thank you, Tom, so much for the opportunity to build a car. We look forward to giving the build back to you, Tom, and hopefully at the end of the day, much like us, we hope that you're satisfied with the product that we've been able to build for you here. Cheers.